Item number SCP-6184 Object Class Keter Special Ketamine Procedures Classified data pertaining to SCP-6184 is only to be provided to redacted. Any classified data being disseminated to unauthorized personnel is to be neutralized and respective personnel are to be immediately terminated by said figure. Description Classified by order of the Overseer Council Discovery Classified by order of the Overseer Council Item 1 Classified by order of the Overseer Council Clearance 056 required Access granted. Welcome, 056. Item number SCP-6184. Object class Keter. Special containment procedures. Access to SCP-6184's file is restricted to 056. 056 is prohibited to expose any other sentient beings, regardless of clearance and nature. To classify data pertaining to SCP-6184. Any classified data being disseminated to unauthorized personnel is to be neutralized and respective personnel are to be immediately terminated by said figure. If the former 056 is neutralized, classified data must be passed down to the successor of the former 056. The sustained isolation of classified data pertaining to SCP-6184 is the containment procedure for SCP-6184. Description The designation of SCP-6184 has been given to the thought concept detailed in Addendum 1. To date, SCP-6184 has not exhibited any memetic, cognitohazardous, and or Info has this now crossed effects. Discovery discovered on the 9th of September 1890 in the confines of Site 5. Any records of a Site 5 has been deemed non existent. Addendum 1 Interviewer Dr. Scrappy. Any records of a Dr. Scrappy have been deemed non existent. Interviewed Info has it expunged. Forward, initial interview with InfoHazard Expunged. The nature of InfoHazard Expunged has not yet ascertained before and during this initial interview. Begin recording. What is your name, title, designation? Suffering. Is this the title others refer you as? Others. They have left me to suffer. Elaborate for the purpose of this interview. To elaborate would mean to reveal a truth. Are you willing to accept it? I am. Existence is suffering, but suffering is not existence. Suffering through existence is initiated before you are born or when your existence gets conceptualized or imagined by another being. This can be explained in many ways. Imagine that there is a couple one of them wanting a child, who or when they think of this is utterly irrelevant. Conceptualization or imagining the existence of that theoretical child brings forth hopes of what your child would end up being like, expectations, and additional related thoughts. As perfection is something that no human is ever going to achieve, your existence based on the expectations of others, has already caused suffering to another before you even existed due to you not fulfilling the expectations of that somebody other. As perfection is impossible to achieve, impossible to achieve, even for religion and or God. How is this possible? God is not able to achieve perfection as anything and everything can be altered by our perception, as shown in Schrodinger's cat experiment, resulting in the relativity or subjectivity of anything and everything. One might say something is good, while the other might consider bad, 
resulting in the subject in question remaining in a state of subjectivity or objective uncertainty. The same applies to God. God fails to meet the expectations of everybody, regardless of one's religious beliefs. If applicable, a God will always be perceived as something different, a saviour to others, and to others the perpetrator, and therefore fails to meet the expectations of others, as is shown in many religions, with many sharing the same core concept, but very in exact details, events and aspects of belief. You bring forth suffering as you conceptualize or imagine the theoretical existence of others, applying your own hopes and expectations to something, anything, everything, whether it be positive and or negative. Therefore, life is an endless hell with no way out. As death fails to achieve the absolute state of non-existence, no way of achieving greater happiness, everything, before you even exist, if your existence does not get conceptualized, there is no suffering. But because you are thinking of non-existence, you are still thinking about it. Therefore, you create additional suffering. Resulting that not getting your existence conceptualized is a definitive impossibility. Non-existence is would be the ideal or perfection, which is impossible. How have you acquired such knowledge? Because I am the one who came before, now uncertain. End recording.